Welcome, boys and girls. Today I want to talk about bass cabinets. And the question is, what's the difference between a bass cab and a guitar cab? Do they sound the same, more or less? Is there a huge difference in construction and in sound? Or are bass cabinets just guitar cabinets with more low end? Do you know the answer? Well, I'm using both of them for my bass tones. I'm using bass cabs and I'm using guitar cabs. Guitar cabs a little more for distorted tones, but they both work, but they sound different. So today I want to dial in a great sounding all round rock and roll bass tone. And I want to compare a guitar cab and a bass cab. And I want to use different microphones to dial in that sound. So you understand the difference between those two types of cabinets. Let's do that now. Let's go. Let me show you today's rig. I'm once again playing this lovely Esch Sovereign bass. It's a passive bass and it just sounds great. I think it's from the 80s or 90s. And it's one of those basses. It just has the right amount of direct dangle, has like that, that mid bite that a metal or rock bass needs. And it sounds very balanced overall. So just plug it into anything you want. It's always going to sound cool. And I'm going into this monster here. This is a Hiwat 200, a very, very heavy amp. And it also gets very hot. So in summer, you know, if you, you know, if you want to do a barbecue, I think you can grill some eggs or some bacon on that amp. It really gets freaking hot. Uh, whatever. It's an interesting sounding amp. Um, it has a nice growl in the low end, but sounds clean enough for bass, has enough headroom if you don't crank it too much. Cool amp. And uh, a lot of people use it um, for pedals, if they play a lot of pedals. Interesting amp. We're using that high watt, 200 watt tube amp, and we're going into two cabinets, as I told you. Over here in my live room, I have a guitar cab connected. That is a Mesa Boogie rectifier, oversized cab with a stock V30 speakers. And in another room over there, I have the cabinet that I just bought, and that is a 4x10 bass cabinet from TC Electronics. Let's start with a guitar cabinet. There's not a lot you can do on this amp. I have cranked the bass to get a little more low end and I've boosted the presence a little bit. And I'm going into that guitar cab and the V30 is mic'd with a Shure SM7B, which is a great sounding microphone for yeah, distorted bass. Uh, for rock and metal bass tones when it's not so much about the low end but more about the the mid information and it sounds like this not bad right nice growl in the lows so it has that rock attitude but it's not really distorted nice mids and overall pretty balanced but there's not a lot of low end right it's rather thin sounding one thing we can do is we can use another microphone because that sure sm7b is not the thickest mic in the world so let's use a condenser microphone instead to get more low end it sounds like this Can you hear that? Also, the lower mids are a lot fuller. So that sounds nice and it is absolutely usable, but you know, I want more. And that's why I will switch to the bass cabinet now and we'll, we'll show you what we can do because we can go a lot further. Before I do that, I want to talk about, I want to give you some information about bass speakers and about bass cabinets. Bass speakers sound a lot more linear compared to guitar speakers. Guitar speakers really concentrate on the mids to shape the mids of your guitar tone. But bass speakers have an extended frequency range. They sound a lot more linear. They have an extended low end and they also have more higher frequencies, not really highs. It's still a woofer, but they have an extended range into both directions. So guitar speakers are more like a mid tunnel compared to, compared to bass speakers. Bass speakers can even be used in PA cabinets or PA boxes, you know, that's how linear they are. 
Um, so they don't sound as colored as a guitar speaker. So that's one thing. But let's also talk about bass cabinets and bass cabinet construction. There are two main differences between a modern bass cabinet and a guitar cabinet. The first difference is that most modern bass cabinets have a tweeter, a horn. So they are a two-way system. They're splitting the frequencies. There's a crossover inbuilt. So the highs are um, going through that horn and the rest of the frequencies through the speakers. And very often you can adjust the amount of high frequencies you want, the amount of clank you want. So that is a more complex, a more hi-fi sounding system than a guitar cab, which is basically just a one-way system. That's the first difference. The second difference is that most of the bass speakers are vented. You can see that there are holes somewhere, just like most studio monitors or like most hi-fi speakers. I'm not gonna explain the whole thing, but the idea is to give the speaker an extended low end without making the cabinet bigger. And it is a big difference in the room if you compare a vented speaker to a closed speaker, you will get a lot more low end, you will get a lot more air moving. So before we listen to the bass cab, let me sum it up. Those speakers are more hi-fi sounding, extended frequency range, and the cabinet itself should have more low end because it's vented. Let's see how much we can hear that in a, in a closed mic situation. And finally, we have a horn that will give us a lot more high frequencies than any guitar cabinet can. Let's go. This is another SM7, but this time on the bass cab. And now you can hear exactly what I explained. There's more high end, there's more higher frequencies. You can hear that in the attack and you can hear that in the fret noises. And once again, we have a fuller low end. It just gives us a bigger picture of the bass, but we can go a lot further. So um, I've added a few more microphones. I've added another condenser microphone. That is a sure, I forgot what it's called. Nothing fancy, but it sounds great because it picks up a lot of low end. Let's just listen to that microphone. That's some real low end, right? And now you can hear that there's actually a lot more going on in the lows in the room over there. No guitar cabinet that is closed is gonna give you that low end. Now with those two microphones, we can we can mix them. Like the, the Shure SM7 has the attack and the and the mid bite, the aggression of the tone, and we can yeah mix in the other microphone for more low end. Let's start with the SM7. And here's a low end, a little too much. Maybe like this. What else can we do? We can, of course, also mic the tweeter, the, the horn. It's not gonna sound cool on its own, but we can mix it in. Sounds like this solo. So you see, this is where the clank lives. You can also hear a lot of hiss. I'm usually EQing like the very high end out like this. Okay, let's take the main microphone, the SM7, and slowly mix in the tweeter, the clank. If you do too much, it sounds like corn. Corn, the band, you know. Oh, maybe like this. A little more. And that is a great combination, right? We have the main microphone, 
the low end fader adding more low end and finally the clank and you can't do that with a guitar cabinet that's the problem you know you can yeah you can you can cover the mids so to say and a guitar cab will do a good job here so if you just want to mix in the mids that's gonna work and that's what i do sometimes um but yeah if you want to have a full range representation of the bass like a one track full sounding bass guitar just like this get a bass cab anyway there's one exception if you use distortion let's do that uh, this is a great sounding pedal from tech 21 it's the vt bass their take on on ampeg uh, I have used that one a lot. Like together with the Dark, Cla Dark Glass B7K or B9K, it's my favorite pedal. So, uh, let's add some distortion. And here is the only exception. Because of the extended higher frequencies of the bass cabinet distortion always sounds a little hard a little harsh a little less elegant than through a guitar cab let's go back to the guitar cab of course that's a lot thinner but a track like this will sit a lot better a lot nicer in any mix because there are not so many spiky upper frequencies in the distortion. And that is the combination I'm using very often. So I'm using a bass cabinet for my main tone, sometimes together with a DI track, um, but I'm also very often using that three microphone technique that I've just shown you, like one microphone on the woofer, another microphone for the low end and finally one microphone on the tweeter but then if i want to make things sound really really dirty and i need a lot of distortion uh sometimes even high gain i prefer reamping or sending that signal through a guitar cabinet because it's gonna sound warmer and rounder and that you mix that with the clean bass tone you have and you have the best of both worlds Fantastic, right? So the bass cab will give you a full sounding tone with an extended low end, an extended high end, kind of a hi-fi sound. Whereas the guitar cab will give you that mid tunnel that works great with distortion. And if you combine those two worlds, you can get a lot of great tones. You know what I'm gonna do now? I think I'm gonna try to capture three IRs, one for each microphone that's a cool idea so we end up with one main ir one bass low end ir and one clank clank ir of the tweeter of the horn and then you can combine them in a plugin and mix them yourself that's a great idea who is interested i can do that now and then we can you can get the irs in the next video if they turn out great i don't know yet let me know if you are interested <laughs> But I need you to, to sign up to my email newsletter. Uh, sell your soul to the devil if you haven't done that already. Um, yeah, so sometimes I have private videos. Uh, sometimes I'm writing you uh, love letters and stuff like that. You know, sell your soul to the devil. It's worth it. And sometimes you can even get IRs. So I'm going to do those IRs now. And in the meantime, you can subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, ding dong, tell your friends and grandma about this channel spread the word that would be nice share the video on, on, on facebook or elsewhere that helps me spread the word about this channel uh what else yeah as usual i'm working on a lot of stuff but we will have more bass videos as soon as i have all those speakers here i'm really looking forward to 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 hear all the differences there there so i'm sure there will be at least two or three bass videos coming so uh yeah that's all for today I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.